17-year-old boy accused of raping a man jogging in Chattanooga will be tried as an adult. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. The victim is 69 years old. Hamilton County Juvenile Court heard testimony today on whether the suspect is fit to stand trial. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo joins us now with what happened. Brianna? This morning was Deontay Smart's last time in the juvenile court system and attorneys had to establish whether it was likely Smart committed or could commit the crime and before going before the judge Judge, he was emotional along with his family. Alleged actions of this 17 year old have him facing hard time as an adult if convicted. That's my son. We get along good. I love him. We, we, we are family. Suspect Deontay Smart, his family, and the victim were all in the Hamilton County Juvenile Court today. Hours in court found that Smart was fit to stand trial and to be tried as an adult. A special education teacher says Smart has a learning disability and a speech impediment. In the special education program, we monitor to see if they're making progress as far as credits and he is making those gains. Though he's a student, the teen is accused of committing a serious crime. Chattanooga police say Smart raped a 69-year-old man out jogging in North Chattanooga. Where was he supposed to be um, the morning this happened? Was he at the house? Where were you at? I mean, he He's old enough, he sets his own clock, he gets his own self up, he goes out the door himself. Attorneys before Judge Robert Filios say the boy had discipline problems at school. And again, my memory, I say he was compliant, he was, you know, he was not disruptive, he was not, you know, some children can be mouthy and disrespectful, he never came across that way to me, he understood the rules of probation. Has he ever damaged, has he ever broken anything or punched the wall? I mean, yeah, I mean, with him and his little brother, I mean, when they fight, yeah, yeah, that, that holds him a while. The judge wrapped up the hearing to say all of the evidence supported premeditation and aggression. And Smart was transferred to the county jail today, being held on $10,000 bond. If he does make bail, then he'll have to wear a GPS monitor and stay away from North Chattanooga. Calvin. Brianna, were any other options talked about today? Yes, the judge did say that he didn't think 18 months was enough time to change Smart's behavior. And so uh, the judge said that there were just too many problems with the school to consider. Okay, uh, thanks, right, Brianna. Thank you very much.